You are in considerable pain, Madigan. It's a heat emanating from your gut, a burning, searing pain from where a bullet pierced into your torso. Several, actually. It's nauseatingly painful. It's blackout painful. In fact, you've lost and gained consciousness several times now and begun to lose track of uh, what's been going on, what exactly is happening. You are on a beach. I don't hear no fucking waves. I'm not going to make wave sound effects. I do. Yeah, uh, in a beach. Okay, yeah. This seems familiar. As you, as you sit up, the pain fades, and you see Camilla Gray standing next to you on the beach. She turns to you, leans down, and slaps your face so fucking hard. She grabs you by your lapels and says, Jack, we don't have time for a beach episode. Suddenly you're on a med bay stretcher. The beeping of medical equipment all around you, drowning, suffocating out all other noises. You hear the panic screaming of nurses and doctors shouting to each other. Damn it, get me some morphine. What do you mean? I'm literally just a janitor. Why am I here? I, I didn't go to medical school for this. You finally come to in lots of pain. Doctors are trying to hold you down. You can't hold me down. You're right. They can't. You punch a few of them. You see someone you vaguely recall. A shock of red hair. Not dressed like a doctor, but still in white. Uh, basically puts his hands up and lets you leave. You stumble down the hallways of the ostriches. Leaving a trail of blood from your reopening wounds along the hallways, along the sliding security doors. Things start to consolidate. You're able to distinguish sounds from one another. You can hear people trying to tell you to stop. You're more conscious that you're shrugging them off, pushing them away. This continues all the way to the hangar, where, once again, they try to stop you from entering your mobile suit. Guns drawn, pointed at you. You don't know this, and you never will know this. But when they radio up to tell Niles Argyle what's happening, Niles says to prepare the mobile suit for launch and let him go. To you, they just get out of the way. You get into your gym, and you launch toward the battle. As you near a bow coup, the sheer suffocation, the violence, the, the screams, horror and terror as you lazily switch from radio channel to radio channel. Wait, oh, oh shit, oh shit, ah! Blur together. What the hell is that? You're looking. What the hell is that thing? He's turning us into pudding! You need to find your allies. Ah! You need to find God your damn teammates. It, this one's fast. But at this something range, passes can... in ah! something. The humming and the pressure continues, gets louder, nauseating louder, and then begins to fade. You feel like you just escaped an almost certain tragic fate. You continue until you hear your friends over the radio. You know where to find them now. And you enter the fray. A few moments later, a mayday call would issue forth from the Astrius. The ship would be destroyed.
All right. So we had a turn order last time. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna oh, we're still using the same turn again. order? We're still using the same turn order, yeah. We can't roll again? All right. Uh, Mad Gun, since you're entering the fray, we're going to see where you actually wind up in the turn, turn order. Narratively, you engaged Holden, I believe. And so we are going to have you roll up in here with Wrath and Melee. Uh, one failure. Okay. Then we are going to put you one down instead of one up from the exact middle. So you are below Lone Star in the turn order. Holden, we are at the top of the torn order with you. You had a thing that you were going to... Torn order. Sh- shut up. <laughs> torn order. Torn order. We are back... Torn order. We are, we are back at the top of the turn order with you, Holden. You are... Um, you were going to do something, but now this motherfucker, Mad Gun, who you probably recognize the mobile suit of has zoomed in front of you and interrupted your action. What would you like to do now? I'm going to laser calm him. Like, uh, mad gun! I can't remember how I talk to Holden, so I just don't say anything. <laughs> uh, you were very dismissive and kind of an asshole to him, like almost everyone else. Okay, so you're doing great. <laughs> oh, no, he liked, he liked Holden. He liked Holden, kind of. No, he loved Holden, actually. I, I don't think he secretly, loved Holden. He secretly I loved Holden. Was- I don't think. Okay, was. I remember now. Yeah, yeah. You pointed a gun at me. Uh, that was uh, that was a long. That was a while ago. I mean, I mean, you you were tackling me. You tried to shoot me, but you, you were tackling me, and Cav was going to rip my head off. You know what? Fuck this. I'm going to take a defensive pose and start boosting away from him. Pretty much the opposite direction of where I was going in the beginning. Okay. Um. So I'll give you a plus one ongoing to anyone trying to attack you in the future. Is that all you? Yeah, but I have two shields. Okay. (laughs) That's two shields, Adam. I should get a plus one for each shield. Mm, Not sure about that, but. Okay, so if I had one shield, it would be the same plus one. It'd be plus. (laughs) Or would you give me a half of? It would be like yeah, (laughs) plus point five. Uh, Honestly, honestly. Most games just completely ignore the Zaku shield as a shield. Not just, this one. Just, Not just this one. Just gonna be honest with you there. Okay, you you can have your plus two if someone attacks Ooh. you within the next turn and you're still doing that. So fuck yeah. And you move away from basically everyone and kind of back toward Naps. So oh, we'll come back. Hey Naps, that was weird. Is that Mad Gun? Did I hear that right? Yeah, it's Mad Gun. He's pissed. Oh shit. Tiny, it is your turn. Gather, what the fuck are you doing here? You Shouldn't you be in like a med bay somewhere? Pain. What are you talking about? Fury. <laughs> You're in the fight now, so which one are you going to go for? Just the closest one to me, Tiny. I, I'm pain. Okay, jeez. <laughs> you know, I just, I, I don't even have time to be dramatic pain. right now. Since Holden kind of fell back toward Naps, the closest one to you is going to be Fenway, who's kind of tussling with Lone Star. I'm going to fire at Fenway with my Vulcans. Give me a tact, firearms, and optics. To success. Tiny, you fire your Vulcans at Fenway, and of the volley that you send in his direction, you land two hits. We are on to Naps. Okay, I'm radioing Fenway. Fenway! Um, Fenway. Yeah. What? 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 Naps. I' kind of busy over here. Try to get clear of him, and I'll, I'll I'll try to hit him. I don't know how much I can do to get clear of this thing. It's fucking moving around really fucking fast. Should I still sh- take the shot? Do it. Do what you got to do. Okay. I trust in Fenway that he can get out of there unharmed, and I I take the shot. All right. Beam Bazooka Unleashed. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> okay. Um, you done hmm. fucked up, dude. You've been aiming <laughs> very diligently. Give me a keen. You've been using... You, you're using a giant fuck-off thing. It's firearms. All right? Yeah. And finally, obviously, optics. With your plus two of aiming. So I need to hit 14. Oh boy, let's go! Yo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Three, two, one! Oh no, so that's... 
<laughs> that's what that's nine six no that's, that's like <laughs> eight, oh, there's six, no I multiple hips with the bean yeah. bazooka, so it doesn't really matter it's a, um it's a very big success so the bean bazooka makes impact with the pixie and the pixie while taking the hit and showing discomfort while straining doesn't seem to be uh, taking any issue with taking the hit. It, it continues on while potentially being slightly pushed away from its immediate chase of Fenway. Then we're on to Lone Star. So I don't, I don't stray from the course. I'm still focused on Fenway. I'm just going to boost towards him and uh, just go at him with the beam daggers. Give me a wrath, give me a melee, and give me a reactor. Uh, five successes. The bean dagger is cut into the gel blue, but it mostly shrugs it off, though you can see that it has damaged the armor. The thing that is piloting the pixie that used to be Lone Star. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are now on Mad Gun's turn. All right, who's closest to me? Fenway. Uh, Holden ran away and is with Naps, so basically it looks like Holden and Naps are kind of distancing themselves from the, the the close combat. Two versus one. I like that odds. Let's go. Two. Okay, you're going to go to them. Okay, got it. <laughs> this is why I kept my reaction. <laughs> this is why I kept my reaction. Okay, give me a... Um, hmm. What are you going to do, actually, first off? All right. Uh, full burst at them. Uh, a burst from the machine gun? Yep. Okay, give me... Grit, firearms, and mobility as you move toward them, firing. So 5 plus 3 is 8, plus another 3 is 12. I rolled a 6. Got it. 7 successes. 3 shots hit. Uh, who hits who of the burst? I think they should roll for it. <laughs> Fair enough. You don't want to allocate it to one of them. You're just splitting it between them. Uh, Dallas, Naps. You're going to make us <laughs> roll to decide which one gets hit more? Uh-huh. I, make, I think you should roll face. for it, Matt. What the fuck? I already no, no, no. Uh, 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 come on. Actually, no. Um, you know what? I'll take all three of them. I'm defending them if we get to, if we get to make the choice. <laughs> what the fuck? If, fair, okay. fair enough. I mean, it <laughs> should be Matt to decide, but if he wants to let it up to you to decide, then sure. Take all the hits. You sure? Yeah, sure. You want to take them it. all? Well, I'll take them all. Fuck it. Take them all. <laughs> uh, g- give me a, a a grit, a fight, and a reactor, since you don't need to move. Uh, okay, so I rolled a uh, I rolled a nine out of uh, I got a 12, 30, 14, so 14, 15, 16, so nine out of sixteen. Hey. Wow! Okay, wow! That's eight successes. Damn. Holden holds up both of his shields, and Madgun fires. Madgun's burst goes into Holden's shields, basically having no effect on his uh, his mobile suit otherwise. All right, um, Finway, it's your turn. Do we have the eyes on fucking Ras Marco yet? No. I guess I'm gonna keep my fucking comms to the team again. Marco, I don't know where the fuck you are, but I need you here right now, bud. On Marco's end of the line, you. You vaguely can hear him mumbling, saying like 110, 102, 112, 100. Oh, good. He's just out there fucking murdering grunts somewhere. Jesus. He's uh, catching up on all the people he killed on the asteroid. Yeah, how do you know that? Can I look at my radar and Psychic. see if I, if I see him? Like, see his, he's, he's like blip on my radar at all? Sure. Uh, wait, hold that for your turn to come around. Okay. Fuck, I would like but, to do yes. that. I would I would like to look at my radar and see if I see this little shithead. All right. Give me a keen, a operate, and the b- 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 optics. Fucking four failures. Roll oh, a 12 needed an eight. Radar is a fucking mess at the moment. It would take someone really skilled at reading through Minofsky fucking pollution to be able to pick out anything on this. Fuck it, I'm just gonna boost back to rejoin the team at this point. Guys, we need to take a fucking de- defensive stance with this. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> no, fuck you're, you. You, you're bringing this guy with you. Yes, <laughs> yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sa- safety in numbers, bitch boy. Safety in numbers. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> gonna boost back to rejoin the squad. 
<laughs> I'm about to do a space huddle. Space huddle. All hands in. <laughs> Let's go. All right, Finway, if there's anything else you're going to do, uh, we're go back to tor- top of turn order. I don't plan on it. All right, Naps, give me a... Um... This does not take up my reaction, does it? No, it's not. Give okay. me a keen, an awareness, and optics roll. Actually, no, 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 no. Just give me keen and awareness. Okay, that's a seven I need to hit. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Two failures. Okay, cool. All right, Holden, it's your turn. Um, So Fenway just came back to us. Yes. And Matt uh, just shot us. Yes, he shot you. I'm going to return fire while we, uh, you know, kind of like covering fire while we're like, you know. Well, Fenway's falling yeah. back and joining you guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I will use my my scattering beam gun. Why? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, you Fine. can if you want, I guess. <laughs> Fine, I'll use my my beam cannon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Who who you shooting? Um, I'm I, I'm shooting that mad gun. Hmm. All right, covering fire. Give me a keen firearms optics. Keen firearm optics. Fuck. Let's see what that does. Two sheets, Adam. They're on different sheets. Okay, Keen, five, firearms, five, six, seven, optics, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So two failures. You fire your beam cannon, and it, it, it whiffs mad gun. It whiffs them right in the head. Whiff makes, <laughs> the, makes that sound effect in space, too. Whiff. <laughs> okay. Tiny, your turn. Where were we originally supposed to go? Uh, you were attacking the Dolos carrier, which is this giant fucking ship y'all guys are fighting behind, beside, behind, ish. All right, Mad Gun Lone Star. I'm gonna go. What is the thing called? The Dolos. The Dolos. I'm gonna attack the flank of the Dolos. You guys, watch me. Cover me if you if you can. I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm flying solo now. You kind of are. All right, here we go. So as you approach the the Dolos, um, Tiny, this thing's massive. You wouldn't even know where to start attacking it other than just firing into it, and you wouldn't even know how much of an effect this thing would ha- that would have. You could possibly enter it, but you feel like that would be really fucking dangerous. Yeah. We're just going to uh, attack with the big machine gun. You get close enough, not that you have to get too close to hit this massive fucking carrier. <laughs> I'm not going to even ask you to roll. All your shots hit. (laughs) They puncture into the side of it. There's no visible effect other than the areas where you directly hit seem to lose power. One small win for me. (laughs) (laughs) Not getting anywhere. Fighting old friends. I mean foes. All right. We're so lonely. It is now Naps' turn. Naps, what are you doing? What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Give me, uh, doing? give me, uh, give me another keen and awareness. All right. I believe in you, Fern. Oh, that's, that looks good. That looks good. Keen awareness. That's a seven. So that's three successes. Three successes. Well, you didn't notice it earlier, but you notice it now. Someone's fucking with your mobile suit on the outside. What the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> Someone is attempting to open the cockpit of your mobile suit. What, what the they fuck? They are disengaging the safety locks on the outside, man. Hold on. Hold Fenway. There's someone on my on my suit. Do you see anyone? Uh, do I see anyone? Yeah, like, do, we, do we see anyone? <laughs> yes. There's a Federation normal suit. Someone in a Federation normal Where suit. Where is he? There's on the outside fucker. of Naps' cockpit. <laughs> I want to smash it like a bug. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Let me crush it in my hands. <laughs> Just know All that, right. you know, my suit is still, you know, behind the, the squishy body of that guy. <laughs> I'm going to bear hand. You don't have to hit it hard to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Give it a little love tap. Naps yells about someone, you know, fucking with the outside of his cockpit. About to engage the security lock. Actually, they're already un- they're already disengaged. The cockpit is opening. What the Finway, fuck? in reaction, reaches and grabs this 
Federation pilot outside of Naps's mobile suit just in time. Uh, Naps, from your point of view, the cockpit opens and you see a Federation pilot with looks like it'd be a weapon in one hand hmm. and like was clearly like hacking and punching in codes on the other end. You don't recognize this pilot at all. It seems to be a woman. The pilot suit is burned slightly. Oh, fuck off. Before you can even react, before they can even react, suddenly a mobile suit's hand grabs some of the fingers even coming like close into the cockpit space with you as Fenway grabs this person and yanks her out of view of you. Fenway, what are you going to do? I'm just going to pull it up, like pull the, the pilot into view long enough to examine who the fuck they are. Oh, uh, you don't recognize them, but it's Valerie. Okay, and then I'm just going to take the thumb of my Gelgook and snap the neck. Very good. Neck is snapped. Okay, so, anyway, you reach down there, you grab the person, you look, you see if it's someone you know, you don't know them. Thumb, neck, snap. Naps, your cockpit's open. Yeah, I'm fucking closing that. Roll me. What? What do I need to roll? <laughs> roll me a keen and awareness. Oh, you fucking... <laughs> bitch. Did she throw a fucking grenade in there with him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, uh, I guess I don't see whatever she left. So, you close the cockpit and you hear a small beeping. And you look down. And you see that when she was pulled away, a grenade was left and pulled in the cockpit with you. Before you can do anything, it goes off. You move slightly, trying to get behind something, your pilot seat, something. You lose a good deal of your senses, becoming very, very delirious. You're coughing up blood. You can't see much of anything. Your cockpit still has you know, it's integrity to it. It's a, it's normals are still maintained. You have That's pressure, surprising. you have air, but your normal suit is punctured through and through, including the glass on your helmet being shattered in a few places, some of it stabbing you in your face here and there. Fenway, Holden, you see the mobile suit uh, that Naps is piloting lurch backwards. Naps? Naps? What's going on? Naps, what the fuck? Do we hear, like, any kind of explosion over his comms? Yeah, probably a what the, and then <laughs> boom, and then it cuts out. I want to uh, open my cockpit and jump towards his and see if I can get it open. Lone Star, it's your turn. Okay, so what is Fenway doing? Has he just killed Val? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. So while he's still distracted with that, I'm just going to go... I'm going to burst towards him and slam both of my um, beam daggers at his arm, trying to sever his arm that's holding Val. Give me a uh, a wrath, a melee, and because of the moving, give me a mobility. Uh, three successes. Fucking what? Fenway, I believe you have a reaction. Are we not going to count me smashing Val as my reaction? Nah. Okay, cool. Fuck it. I'm just going to fling the fucking the body that was in my hand straight into the Pixie's fucking main camera and try to <laughs> boost nice. the side. I want to use my reaction to uh, catch Val. Fenway, give me a poise, uh, a maneuver and mobility to get out of the way. And uh, Lone Star, if you do that, it's going to stop your attack. Okay. How many successes did you get, Scoop? Uh, five successes, roll a 10, needed a 14. Five versus four, I believe. Mm, so you successfully sling Valerie in the direction of the corpse that was Val, uh, in the direction of the pixie. I use my reaction to catch Val. Okay. This corpse is thrown at you, and you catch it, Lone Star. Uh, give me a, uh, mm, give me a tact and an empathy. Two successes. All right. There's a tickling at the back of your head it's it's not like this black void this this this, this hole that has swallowed you that is the consciousness of the pixie it is it is a familiar quality 
beckoning you to kind of come back a little, to pull back into your own body. Something that you've distanced yourself from slightly somehow. You hear it ask you if you want to go to the mess hall. Huh? Yeah. Let's go to the mess hall. He tells you that there's cheeseburgers today. Lone Star, you gain consciousness for a moment. In front of you is the pixie with the slider. And on your main cameras, you see that you're holding the corpse of Val. Oh, God. Val! I, uh... I want to open the cockpit and place her body in there. You pull back a bit, open the cockpit for just a moment, and with the hand of the pixie, guide the body of Valerie into the cockpit with you. As she enters and as you close the cockpit, you can tell that the normal suit is burned in multiple places, seared, and that she is indeed dead small spattering of blood on her visor is a grim reminder of this. I'm sorry, Val. I wish I could have saved you. You use one of the safety straps to restrain the corpse to the side of the cockpit. You fought bravely, Ensign. And now they're gonna pay for this! I grab the slider and I push it back up to six. You're engulfed in darkness. You feel your soul pulled down, not by gravity, but by hatred. Hatred for those who have caused you such pain. And knowing that the pixie can help you extract your revenge, you lose consciousness once again. Mad Gun, your turn. It's my turn again, right? Okay. Yes. I unload what's left in the machine gun into uh, the two nerds floating there. This would be um, Holden's mobile suit or uh, Naps' mobile suit. Do you want to just like general burst fire in their area or do you want to aim at one or the other? Uh, we'll go Holden this time. He was Holden last time. Was it Holden last time? Yes. Oh yeah, he decided. That's right. Yeah, we'll go Holden again. Okay, you're going to shoot at Holden's mobile suit. Same three thing. Uh, yeah. Um, six again. So, oh seven successes again. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Mad Gun, <laughs> you fire several rounds out of your machine gun. The last rounds out of your machine gun. And they collide with Holden's empty dom. Now we're to Fenway. Did we ever get a ship name for our home ship? Uh, no, actually. How about the home ship? No, that's ship just- home. That's a pretty shit name. <laughs> so, uh, for, for, for narrative purposes, uh, Holden, you have reached Naps's cockpit. Uh, Fenway, it is now your turn. Squid Squad, the Orville, Squid Squad, the Orville, Orville, come the fuck in, I need you right now. There's a lot of static in response, but eventually a garbled Orville's voice is able to come through. What is it? Squid Squad, what, what is it? Well, we're requesting immediate support. We need an Anaconda team or whoever the fuck you can send. We've got a Gundam. Naps is badly hurt. I don't know where Rast is. Holden's trying to find out what's going on with Naps. I'll, I'll see what I can do, but I I can't make promises. But, uh, infield? Yes, infield. Right. Right away, then. Uh, I can find someone, I'll send them. Uh, yeah, roger that. Squid squad out. Since I've probably heard that, too, and I'm, I'm going to guess enough time passed that I'm a little less shook, can I react to... To Fenway saying that Holden is going to check on me by radioing to my squad. Do not open my cockpit. My normal suit is compromised. Do not open it. If you open that, I'm going to be jettisoned out and die. All right, Holden, you hear that. Fuck. Fuck. Are you okay? Not really, but I can manage for now. Can you still pilot your suit? I don't know. I don't know if, if it'll move as well as it's supposed to. But it looks like I can pilot it for now. All right, I'm going to try to get back into my mobile suit. Holden, just get back to your suit. Get Maps the fuck out of here. I'm going to try to deal with these two. Just fucking stay alive. That's suicide for you. 
And I'm going to boost it fucking mad gun. Heat cleaver strong. All right. Fenway boost horde mad gun. Cleaver attack. Seems a bit wrathy. Seems a bit melee. Seems a bit mobility. Uh, roll a 10 needed a 14. Five successes. All right. Mad gun, you have a reaction. You can dodge. And I, like, throw my gun and then draw my beam saber. Hey, sure. I'll count that as, like, a fucking parry of sorts. It's gonna be poise. It's gonna be melee. And it's gonna be mobility. Uh, I needed a nine. I rolled a sixteen. <laughs> looks like uh, looks like that's not gonna oh, no. that's not gonna cut it. <laughs> All right. Fenway, you move in, and with both your heat cleavers, despite the distraction, you manage to close the distance and slam each of them one after another into Mad Gun. Holden, you arrive back at your dom. We're back at the top of the turn order. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna push the button to open it. Yeah. yeah. You open it fine. You get in fine. There's been some damage since you left it, I guess. But it's and you hear overall... a beeping sound as you enter. And you hear a beeping sound. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna radio to Naps. Naps, you got that thing moving? It seems to be somewhat working. I can't see very well. My 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 instruments are a little fucked up. But as long as you, you know, guide me somehow, it should be fine. Finway, are we leaving? What are we doing? Get the fuck out of here. I got this. Just go. Uh, okay. I know it sucks, bud, but we got no other option. I'm going to grab naps and try to fuck off. We'll come back with reinforcements. Don't don't die on us. Where are you fucking off to? I'm assuming the Dolos is getting extra fucked in that direction. I'll present you a few options. So there's the Dolos. It's close to you, but it is also... In the middle of a big battle is a flagship. It's taking lots of heat and lots of fire. It's also putting out lots of heat and lots of fire. So it is the center of battle, but it has lots of hangars and stuff that you could fly into it and maybe get some help there and see where things go from there. Uh, There's also a Bawaku itself. You could land on the surface of a Bawaku and enter any of the mini ports that are on a Bawaku and look for aid there. The Federation forces have yet to make contact with it in any meaningful shape or form, and so it's still relatively safe as far as things go. How far is it away? You're you're surprisingly pretty close to the surface of a Baoku. It'll take you, uh, basically, li- like, I'll cost you a turn, and then I'll put you there. Whereas the Dolos, I'll have you there next turn, but you're you're be on the Dolos, not on a Baoku, and you won't be really away from the battle. Whereas if you go to a battle, you will be away from the battle a little bit for a time. I'm gonna I'm gonna radio naps. Naps are fucking up. <sighs> Lead the way. Do do a battle coup. Wait, what? And I'm gonna boost. Holden and Naps depart the battlefield. They head toward Space Fortress Abala coup. <laughs> hey, Tiny! It is your turn. You've been shooting at the Dolos carrier. Uh, You notice that the two doms that were in this fight, one of them piloted by Holden, who you barely care about, and the other one piloted by Naps, who was a pretty close friend at one point, uh, (laughs) fuck off toward a Balaku. You notice that Fenway is attacking Mad Gun, and Lone Star is also attacking Fenway, uh, or chasing after him. Well, I, uh, looks like, you know, 2 on one's pretty good. Pretty good over there. I think I'm just going to keep carrying out what I was ordered to do. I mean, wait, can I talk to Niles? Is he still a thing? No. <laughs> I <didn't laughs> think so. Yeah, that's what I Rest thought. So it's kind of What a do you mean? Creepy. Doesn't he escape with a fucking grenade and a hacking tool in hand? <laughs> <laughs> no. Only if he was prepared. It's just crazy because now I don't know who to report to for Oh, uh, no one at the moment. Uh, <laughs> You're at the top of the chain now. Yeah, yeah pretty Man. much. <laughs> you are tippy top dog at the moment. <laughs> this just is so much work. Yeah, I'm just going to keep attacking the... I mean, I don't even know where we're supposed to go after this. This is crazy. Um, <laughs> Dolos. Fire, fire. Some people screaming and crying, please. All right. Position yourself. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? What is the way she phrased it? it okay. Everyone is dead, so I might oh as well God. just make more dead. You, uh, 
continue firing into the dolos, aiming for any structural integrities that you can find. You position yourself behind a hangar and start unloading into the hangar, just aiming at anyone in a hard suit, anyone trying to, oh, uh, to, to, to repair anything, to reload anything. You've done yeah. that. That's a lot of dead mechanics. A lot of dead. <laughs> really special. <laughs> Less mechanics. <laughs> I'm the best mechanic. <laughs> it's like, I don't have control, but now I got a little control. <laughs> Lone Star, we're back with you. All right, so now it's just Fenway? It's, uh, yep, just Fenway. I head to a Balku. What the? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, now I just keep keep going at it with Fenway here. Where am I in relation to him right now? Uh, he dodged your last move and he gunned toward Mad Gun. Uh, it seems like he's trying to avoid you. That's like the the notion that you're feeling at the moment, at least as the as the pixie instincts are are, are grabbing a hold of you. You are hearing uh, that your prey is running from you. I want to boost downward. While he's fleeing me, and then come back up, do like a little swoop up, and try to cleave through his uh, through his torso. Cock first. Another beam dagger attack. Uh, give me uh, wrath melee mobility. Six successes. Fenway. I'm gonna grapple Mad Gun and spin him towards where fucking Lone Star is coming from. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, this guy have a few steps to it, so. First off, I'm going to have you roll for that. If it's successful, then I'm going to have Mad Gun roll to evade, too. So uh, I want you to roll um, Hoist, Maneuver, and uh, Mobility. Needed a 14, got a 12, so 3. All right. Um, Mad Gun, he grabs you, using your attack to kind of spin you into Lone Star's attack. How are you going to try to not get cut in half by fucking Lone Star? Can I, like wrap both my hands around his cameras and like blind him so he doesn't know where to go. Yeah, I guess that'll work. You guess or where it will? Like what? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just <laughs> trying to think of the feasibility of it. I, I, yeah, I guess you could cover up his main camera and then he doesn't quite know where to position <laughs> you exactly. Uh, so like while you both get out of the way and he does maneuver you, he doesn't successfully get you attacked by your teammate. So I think that works. Okay, I'll do that yes like adam set me up for failure but and it's gonna be um if you're gonna do that uh i'm gonna say that's gonna be a poise uh also a uh, maneuver and uh optics i needed a nine i got a ten so one failure all right so madgun doesn't resist being moved i mean he does but he fails scoop successfully moves and you successfully land your attack. Well, I'm going to use my reaction now. Good. I'm going to barrel roll as I'm bursting upward to reposition myself heading straight for Scoop's torso. All right. So you're going to stop your attack and do it again. So I will... Pretty much. Uh, you got to do the attack roll again for that. So I think that was poise, melee, and mobility. Once yeah. again, poise, melee, and mobility. Give me a new roll, though. <laughs> Six successes again. All right. Fenway grabs Madgun, positions him, turns him around. Madgun struggles, covering up Fenway's main camera. That doesn't really stop Fenway from positioning uh, Madgun in the way of the Pixie's attack. But the Pixie is able to move around that position and kind of come in for a slash across Fenway's back. Uh, both your beam daggers eat into him and seem to do integral structural damage to his mobile suit. His mobile suit is uh, malfunctioning, is going to explode soon. Fenway, all the alerts are going off in your cockpit. It's panic time. Everything's screaming at you internally. Naps, holding. Uh, shit's getting real bad. Um, I, 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 suit, suit's about to explode. I, goodbye, guys. You hit the big red button, or the big red lover or whatever it's going to be in your mobile suit and expel yourself from the cockpit just as the mobile suit explodes holding naps that's the last thing you hear and then his line goes dead damn it oh (sighs) oh 
What do we do? I don't, I don't know. We not, let's just get you to safety. <laughs> but I can't get to safety while he just dies out there. Yeah, he might already be dead. God damn it! Look, I'll 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 get myself to safety. You you just like hang around, see if you fucking get anything else in. Yeah, I'll I'll head back. Don't try to engage them. Like, stay out of their radar range. Just, just see if you can f- fucking pick up anything. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back that way. Well, I'll make my way to the surface. You land on the surface of a Baku and head to one of the hangars. Uh, and as you do, uh, you realize that you're going to be able to get medical attention here, but as you start to look yourself over, as your adrenaline begins to fade, you quickly come to the conclusion that you're bleeding a lot more than you should, and that some of these minor scratches are not just that. They are where shrapnel has embedded deep inside you. Uh, A big gash on your chest, uh, several on your stomach, some into your inner thigh. Uh, you are losing lots of blood and it's getting harder and harder to keep your eyes open. Uh, Holden, what are you doing? Boosting back as fast as I can. All right. I want to, um, kind to, you know, not, not go straight into the battlefield, but, um, try to get a close enough to where I could get an idea about if Fenway's still alive or not. Okay. Well, Fenway does have suit comms, but you're going to have to be pretty close. Then I'll be pinging him uh, the entire time I'm going. Got it. Got it. Fenway! Fenway! You read me! Fenway! As you head back from a Baoku, you can tell that the situation has gotten a little bit more dire. The tone has changed. It's not just a major battle. It's a major battle that seems to be in a state of retreat now. The chaos is seeping deeper and deeper towards a Baoku. And you find yourself cutting into it. Fenway! Seriously, do you hear me? Fenway! All right, Fenway, you ejected from the mobile suit. What are you gonna do? Has the mobile suit already exploded? Oh, yeah. What debris is near me at this point? I mean, there's the suit itself, uh, and there's, like, remnants of the suit, like, drifting off, like an arm, a leg, some of the munitions, some of the armor platings just flying about. Um, but the core of the suit is still kind of there, just like drifting uh, as the pixie kind of passes it and continues going north. <laughs> north in space? North in space. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, Adam. Where, which way is north? I guess uh, you just keep flying towards the North Star uh, until you hit it. Uh, <laughs> up! Going up in there space. is no up in space, Adam. There's a relative up. I mean, yeah. In the first level of Ender's is game, but there's no up. The if, door is down, Adam. I don't know how it works in Gundam, <laughs> but if they do have like a selected designated across like the galaxy of people, like, hey, this is always up and this is always down and this is always left and this is always right, then yes, there could be an up, Adam. <laughs> but, uh, does Gundam have I that? mean I, I guess you could have an up on the ecliptic plane. But look, this is maybe this is coming from a system that in canon uses feet as a coordinate. <laughs> You think they had this figured out? Wait, did that happen? Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I, my brain just—I I was thinking of actual Gundam for a second. <laughs> oh, this like, is wait. actual Gundam. Oh. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, this, yeah, is okay. canon. <laughs> this, this is canon. It's more canon than some shit. Um, oh my is God. are the remnants of the shoe bill shield anywhere near me? Uh, <laughs> Probably that, fucking that, not. Yeah, that that's, happened a bit earlier. I would yeah, say. That's long so gone. I don't. I don't, yeah, I don't think that's anywhere near you. But the, the remnants of your suit, plenty of stuff to hide behind, or possibly do what you're trying to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna fly to what's left of one of the arms that's floating out there, as, as carefully as I can. Got it, Tiny. You still murdering uh fucking soldiers and hangers? I mean, yeah, I guess. I just want to be useful. Also, have no idea like. What happens when this thing is all kablooey? The Dolos, uh, you imagine a huge explosion and probably the end of the one-year war. <laughs> That's the scale of this thing. Lone Star, Mad Gun, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Lone Star? No response from Lone Star still. 
I'm gonna hit you so hard when I see you again. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm your mom or anything, but Jesus Christ, I can worry. You guys come this way and help me finish off this big thing. Mad Gun, are you gonna comply? I mean, I don't have anything else to do, so I might as well. Let's light it up. Mad Gun seems to join you in uh, destroying the Dolos uh, and shooting various soft targets as you can. Uh, Lone Star. Yeah. You don't hear any of that. You're being pulled. You're following something, a noise. It's getting louder and louder. Insubordinate piece of shit. Monkey. (laughs) Monkey. Monkey. I love this song. I'm going to turn it up. I grab that lever and push it to 11. Oh my god, do you really? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just suicide before the climactic battle. See if I ever let him get in a mobile suit again. Tiny, uh, you see Lone Star just fucking just zip off like he's just going away. I will court martial his ass so fast. Meanwhile, you and Mad Gun have a jolly old time just lighting up hangers and mechanics and hangers and pilots and hangers and. All sorts of hangers full of unmanned Zakus because there's a shortage of pilots. You just fucking wreck them. <laughs> All right, Fenway. What you doing? You see Lone Star fuck off. You see Mad Gun fuck off. You're floating on wreckage. Oh. You're close enough to the Dolos to make it to the Dolos. I'm not going to the fucking Dolos. I'm not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't need meta knowledge to know that's a bad place to be right now. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing so meta, hot. Meta, meta, he's meta playing. Meta gaming. Ooh. He's using knowledge. He's All using right. knowledge from Ooh. the show. Holden. <laughs> Holden, you begin nearing the space where the fight was happening, where you last left your teammates. Just wait, let me uh, put my dramatic face on. <sighs> uh, okay. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, you arrive back in the space where you last saw your teammates. Where you, Fenway! where you fled, <laughs> where that? you fled with naps. <laughs> you see the wreckage of Fenway's destroyed Gelgu, and fuck, you don't see fuck. any of your enemies. They're all gone. They seem to be all gone. No one seems to be in here except for the the wreckage of uh, a gym and the the wreckage of a Gelgu. I want to uh, scan for life forms. <laughs> Can, can my mobile suit do that? <laughs> uh, you can do like heat and, and stuff. Yeah, I guess I'll keep a relatively quiet radio though while I just scan. All right, so you um you turn on your heat signatures, and uh, amongst the debris that is f- relatively really fucking hot, you do spot something that is relatively body temperature kind of around after enough inspection. Just like a little red, a real little red speck. It's actually a lower temperature compared to the smoldering rubble, but yes. Oh, hey, there's a little bit lower. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna ease my way over to that. You ease your way over to it, Fenway. You you see you, you see Holden's dom moving closer. I'm gonna take a quick like second to like glance over the rubble to like see if any other mobile suits are nearby or approaching. It does not seem to be the case. But I'm gonna kick off the wreckage towards his cockpit. <gasps> Fenway. I, I imagine it's like a slow motion, like him coming towards me, like a pizza, like coming in for an embrace, you know? Like, what's that one song that, that, you know, that, that fucking romantic song? Nope. The Titanic one? Dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> that's the one. That's when you're running in slow motion. Yeah. Nope. Same shit. Anyway. Oh. Are you going to let him into your cockpit or what? What's going on here? Yeah, duh. Hey, you open up your cockpit. Fenway, warm, inviting cockpit. Oh, yeah. Going in. Diving right on the <laughs> cockpit. He's <laughs> fucking alive. Oh, my God. Gonna do the weird helmet to helmet comms that they did in fucking 83 or whatever, where Gato <laughs> headbutts him. Like, I was not about to fucking answer you over the radio with them still right next to me. <laughs> I can't even understand what he's saying. <laughs> he's sobbing too, Thomas. That's funny. Holden's ugly crying. <laughs> Holden, can you pilot this thing right now? Or you... <laughs> okay. 
Let's <laughs> let's head back. Let's head back and meet okay. back up with, with our with our boy Nass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a little bit of blood right now, and I'm not feeling too great, bud. As you depart, you hear uh, over the radio the common channel for all of Zeon, an announcement. Supreme Commander Giran Zabi has been killed gloriously in battle. Supreme Commander Cassilia Zabi will be taking command. Well, that's uh, not going to be fucking good for us. Next to you, the Dolos seems to be slowly imploding on itself. Well, I didn't know anyone on there. <laughs> yep. Remember when I said we get to get to a Balaku? Yeah, but we need to do that like 10 minutes ago. We need to get the fuck out of here. Hey, I'm, I'm holding the gas pedal all the way down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a gas pedal, right? <laughs> uh, kind of, yeah. There are, there are pedals. There are three pedals. Uh, they're kind of, I'm holding them all down. In, in Gundam lore, it's kind of like the three she shells in uh, Demolition Man. No one really knows how they work. <laughs> Yeah, I got them all on the the floor. They are all. What are you going. driving with both feet? You don't know how the three pedals work. I have a two by four with a rope. <laughs> I'm holding the rope and I'm holding down with one foot all three pedals. Because <laughs> I read the fucking manual. Okay. All right, you head back to a Uh Tiny Mad Gun, you're shooting. People trying to escape at this point, the Dolos, as it is imploding, <laughs> as uh, fire kind of tears it apart from the inside. You see a Dom that you thought already retreated, now retreating again back to a Uh I don't shoot people who give up. They're not giving up. A lot, they're, they're, so they're fleeing and panicking. You might What's assume the that they're surrendering, but uh, maybe they're not. You don't know. It's kind of ambiguous at the moment. Definitely a war crime, though. No, I don't shoot people who who uh, flee at them. Is Tiny shooting people? I mean, only if they're right in front of me. <laughs> I mean, there's Get out of my face! People. Only if I can see them. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of people in your hangar in these hangars uh, who are just who are trying to get in the mobile suits to get out of the dolos who are trying to get into I wouldn't call them escape pods, but they're shuttles. They're not really designed for combat. Um, trying to get into shuttles to make it out of the dolos as it begins to explode and tear itself apart. And Magon says he's not firing on those. I think we should retreat because this thing is going to blow and I don't want to get hit by space garbage. I don't know where the hell we're going, though. Well, behind you is the immense shadow of Space Fortress of Balaku. You know that your chain of command's kind of down at the moment, but from everything you know about leading up to this battle... Once the main forces of Zeon had been dealt with, the plan was to land on a bow coup and try to take the Space Fortress, similar to how the plan occurred at Solomon. Me and what army? Well, the Federation army's here. All right. You were a bit of an advanced force, but they seem to be arriving in mass. Quite a bit of gems, quite about a bit of balls. Uh, as the chaos of the battle pushes on, it seems as if the Xeon forces are all retreating in mass to a Balaku, and the Federation forces are now in mass making landing on the surface, or attempting to, trying to establish a beachhead of sorts. Gather. Oh uh, yeah. You ready to do this all over again? I'm tired. Gather, you are tired. You're in cra- you're, you're crazy tired. Where's somewhere safe I can take the old man? Your main ship's been destroyed. You could go and find a, a, an ally Fetty sh- ship nearby. Can I put out a distress signal? You could, but in the heat of the battle, you doubt anything one's going to answer it. We don't have time to stop. Let's just keep going. Don't give up on me now. You're all I got left. Hey, everyone. I was debating adding a commercial in this episode because it's it's a really long episode, but we've got so many patrons the last few weeks that I felt I needed to give them their shout out before we went on our little break. There's Raymond Covey, Shu Alias, Eric Weiner, uh, the Swampy Patron, and Connor McCollum. 
Also, a special shout out to Chris Ramey for re-signing up to the Patreon. I know that was very hard for you to do. If you too would like to support Deadset Media, please consider becoming a patron on our Patreon, link in the description. Doing so will unlock you pretty cool perks like being invited to the Discord where we're currently having a listening party and broadcasting the season finale early access. Hey guys, you should probably return from your pee breaks, the commercial's almost over. Lastly, we have decided we will be taking a three week break and the first episode of season two will come out on March 22nd. So I guess we'll see you then. Let's get back to the episode. Lone Star, you followed the noise and eventually arrived in front of Rast Marco. Do I know it's Rast? You know it's Rast, yes. And Rast knows it's you. Are we in anything resembling a normal state of mind now that we've met up with each other? You hear the voice again, Lone Star. Not the voice of the pixie urging you. Not not the chanting of monkey, monkey background. You hear it ask. Hey, dude, can I have your pudding? What? Hey, you gonna finish that? Co-pilot? And for a moment, you gain enough consciousness to bring down the lever. Just a bit. I, I pull down the slider back to zero. All right. As you do, you slide the slider back to zero. You can feel something, uh, an oppressive force, leaving your consciousness. Uh, you vomit some blood into your own normal mass. <laughs> your nose is bleeding. Your, you, are, you think your eyes are fucking bleeding. Hell, maybe your ears are bleeding. Something's leaking out of them. Hopefully not your brains. Oh, God. My whole face is gooey. You're shaking. It feels like you're going through, like, extreme drug withdrawal. Ugh. It is rough. Rass, is that you? You make contact comms with Rast Marco as you approach. He isn't attacking you. Rass, Rass, it's me, Lone Star. Lone Star, I... <sighs> What's mm. the funnels around him start to twitch? Oh shit! And start to aim at you. Hey, what's going on, Rass? It's me. Where's Where's Finway? Where's Naps? Uh, where's Holden? I don't know where they are. We got into some trouble with them, and they fled. Uh, Over the radio, uh, he's going to say. Where's Finway? Where's Nath? Holden, where are you guys? I don't know what to do. All right, calm down. Calm down. We'll, we'll figure this out, okay? Just relax. Holden, Naps, Finway, you all heard that over your radio. Uh, <sighs> I, am I still in my, in my thing, in my suit? Uh, yeah, you've arrived back in the hangar, and people are like, they've locked in your your your, your dom, and they're like bringing a medical team to you. They decided oh, it was best to keep months. you in your in your in your suit for now, effectively, while the medical team gets ready to, to extract you. So you're just kind of waiting in your suit. Have have Holden and I made it back to the surface? Yes. And you can see that the Federation is also landing here and there across the surface. It's not a massive scale invasion yet, but it seems like at least the surface of a Baoku isn't going to be safe for much longer. Uh, and you're going to have to head deeper inside. Rest for the horror, you bud. Uh, far away. Far away. Had to go far away. Lone Star's here. Lone Star? Yeah, buddy. It's okay. God, this hurts so bad. All right, we're going to get you help, okay? Just hang in there. I'm going to look at Holden. Holden, which one was Lone Star? Uh, he's, uh, he's the white devil. Ras, get the fuck out of here. Don't trust that thing. Can I hear any of their messages? You're only hearing his half of it. Don't trust him? Why, he's... Uh, don't trust Lone Star. No, it's okay. It's okay. You can trust me. I won't attack. I'm not attacking. That thing's not fucking human, Rast. Lone Star's not human? That's not your friend anymore, Rast. That's a demon. 
Look, I got I got in a little fight with your friends, but it's just a misunderstanding, okay? I don't know that one guy, the Finn dude. Finway. I don't know the Finn. Yeah, I don't know the Finn guy. He and I just we got in a fight. Despite your attempts to de-escalate the situation, the funnels that Rast control start swarming you. They take deadly aim and open fire. Roll to evade. One fail. The funnels cut into you. One at a time, each one hitting the pixie from a different angle. Uh, uh. Armor coating is being peeled off. The pixie, it can take a lot of damage. It can take a lot of punishment, but this, this is, this is serious. You feel it has been pushed to its very limits, and you can hear it. You can hear it talking to you. <sighs> the voice that you were sharing your pudding with, or the lack of, fades away. And instead, you just hear a cacophony of battle that sounds very familiar. You hear screaming. You hear and feel the urge of people asking you to protect them. To defend them, Lone Star. Uh, Only you can oh do God. it. Oh, God. Only you can do it, you hear from the corpse beside you. Only I can do it. One, two, notches up on the lever. One, two, notches up on the lever. One, two. Until everything starts to fade, and before you know it, you've maxed out the lever. And you are swallowed by a darkness that goes beyond the pitch blackness of space. Something deep in the heart of every man and woman. Something capable of great evils. The pixie has you now. Okay, so, um... As y'all are finishing up this radio communication, Fenway Holden, you make it to this hangar that Naps, uh, you directed Naps to Holden. Uh, and uh, you can see that Naps is being brought out on a stretcher, kind of, that has like, a little bubble around it, too. Oh, he's a bubble boy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Don't call it that. Naps, you look so, uh, I don't know, this is like your element, right? This is how I'm used to seeing you. <laughs> Around you, occasionally, a Balaku shakes with the combat that is occurring outside. Oh, god damn it. Where's uh, Naps' dom in relation to us? It's right there where they were taking him out of it, on the stretcher, so you can reach it easily. Doesn't seem like anyone's going to do anything with it. I'm taking his dom and leaving. Fenway, what? What? Stay here with Naps. Where are you going? What the f- I can't leave the kid out there by himself. Uh... Are you, I mean, are you hurt at all? I mean, you're, you were just talking about bleeding to death. Yeah, it'll, you know what? That little dirt won't help, you know? Right? There's no dirt in space. Well, I guess I'm fucked then. Bye, buddy. Oh, fuck. Naps. Yeah. You you good? Look, they got me. You, you look uh, like the only one who can still fucking fight. I'm not the one bleeding to death, that's for sure. <laughs> uh... Uh, I guess I knew we were going to die, huh? <laughs> you were talking about it a lot. Yeah. Uncharacteristically so. Yeah. Well, stay alive, buddy. Keep an eye on them. You got it. I'm going to hop back in my suit. And you're going to head out there with Fenway? Yep. As Holden leaves, the medical team, trauma team, straps you into the stretcher. The looks on their faces are quite grim. So when do you think I can get back out there, huh? I, I gotta be with my squad. They don't respond to you. They seem to be ignoring you. It's not, it's not that bad, right? I don't feel that bad. Hello? You realize that everything you thought you said, you've just been mumbling as the darkness grows around the edges of your vision. You're going to black out. And the last thing you see is the face of a doctor looking very worried and grim over you as if looking at something that's already a lost cause lost like this war lost potentially 
like your life. You fade to black. All right, Tiny, you see the Dom that had the beam bazooka is basically re-entering the field, followed by the Dom that you just saw leave and come back and then leave again. Um, and they are coming not directly toward you, but a lot closer to you than uh, than they should probably. I guess I will attack the Doms. All right, Matt, are you going to follow suit? Yeah, I guess we're doing this again. All right, Holden, you are at the top of the turn order. Oh, uh, God damn it. Guys, leave us fuck alone. Just fuck off. Uh, I'm just going to stop and I'm going to shoot my beam my fucking my beam cannon at them. Got it. I guess I'll aim for uh, tiny. You aim at tiny. Uh, is it going to be actual aim action or are you just saying you're going to shoot at tiny? And it's going to be a what? Are you going to use reaction to aim and then fire or, or, or are you just saying no, I'm just going to shoot Got it. it? Cool. OK, <laughs> two successes. So, Holden, you level your beam cannon at Tiny. You fire, and Tiny is not able to escape the impact of it as it makes contact with her torso. Uh, her gym gets hit, but doesn't seem too worse for well wear and is going to be able to continue the fight. Guys, we don't want to fight you. Just leave. Well, you're going to go fight Lone Star. We're going to go try to rescue Raz. You saw Lone Star. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's just killing everyone. This is war. He's being a soldier, I guess. I've seen soldiers, and what the fuck I saw fighting me back there is not a goddamn soldier. <laughs> well, then what do you, how do you explain Rass, then? He's fucked up, too. Well, like, just well, let them do, you, do their you, thing. They're on the same level. Do you understand how flawed that fucking reasoning is? You want your boy to just get wrecked mentally further? Whatever the fuck's going on out there? Do you really want to get in the crossfire of that? I've already been in the crossfire of it. I've walked away the last time. I'll walk away again. Fuck it, Holden. Don't fucking waste your time talking to these people anymore. Tiny, it's your turn. You gonna let him go, or are you gonna fucking keep fighting him? I'm gonna fire at Fenway. You're gonna shoot at Fenway. Okay. Keen firearms optics. All right, that's a fail. One failure. One failure. Okay, you let loose a burst of gunfire into Finway's direction. Uh, Finway, some come close to hitting you. You can tell that they're not warning shots. They're definitely shots to hit you, but they don't. Mad gun, it's your turn. I don't have a gun. Yeah, you did kind of throw it. You have Balkans though. Uh, you can also close the distance and do melee. I guess I'll close the di distance then. All right, who are you going for? Hold. Wrath. Melee. Mobility. I needed 11, roll 15. All right, you boost it, Holden, and make a swipe with your beam saber. You miss. That's where I was aiming for. It was a warning swipe. A warning, a warning <laughs> slash was a warning. for your beam saber? Yep. yep. Benway, it's your turn. They don't seem like they're going to let you go. No. No. No, they don't. I'm going to take the reaction to aim a tiny... And fire with the beam bazooka. Gonna be your keen, gonna be your firearms, gonna be your optics. Uh, need an 11, I got a 10. Two successes. Tiny, you already used your reaction to dodge Holden, right? Mm hmm. Okay, that means you're taking this hit. Uh, Benway, you take aim at Tiny's mobile suit, her gym, after it fired a volley at you. You aim carefully and you let loose. The Bean Bazooka hits Tiny's mobile suit much like it did Valerie's. It melts along the side of it, tearing through it. Tiny in the cockpit, all your sensors are going red. Fuck. You know you're going to have to eject. You pull the lever and you eject just uh, as the beam begins to catch into your cockpit. Sensors, screens, all sorts of instruments exploding and bursting into your face as you are slung out of your mobile suit. Oh, fuck. And we are back at the top of the turn order with Holden. Do I? Am I able to have comms with anybody? Yes, you can have comms with Madgun. You're close enough. Madgun! I'm, I'm fucking out here, man! <laughs> <laughs> Gather! 
Gather just whiffed, so I'm gonna punch him in the face with my shield. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Holden, for the punching in the face. Uh, give me a grit. Give me a fight. Uh, and give me a reactor. Five successes. Gather two fists coming at you. Think you still have your reaction? I think I do. I guess I need to burst away and go save Tiny. Uh, I mean, you can start doing that, but you're going to need your turn to if you're going to try to get her in your cockpit or something. But yeah, like your reaction can be like bursting away to dodge. The reaction's going to be like specifically used for like yeah. evading this attack. Otherwise, you're going to get hit. All right, tell me what I need. We're say poise and maneuver and mobility. I, I needed a six, four to ten. I want to yell one. <laughs> 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 Oh, God. This is for tackling me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait. Yeah. And then I want to use a reaction yeah. to hit him with the beam cannon. Like the... Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I, at first, I thought you said scatter beam gun, and I was about to slap the fuck out of you. Beam cannon. All right, cool. That sounds good. All right. Wrath firearms mobility. Two successes. All right, Holden. After Mad Gun whiffs over your head, uh, you ready your punchy shields and lay in, lay into Mad Gun's mobile suit. Jim, just one, two, two fucking hits back to back, and then you create a little bit of distance, level the the shoulder cannon, and fire at almost point blank range into him. It seems to do massive damage to his gym. Uh, Mad Gun, you got some sensors going off. Uh, your reactor isn't doing so hot. Let us go. All right. Tiny, you're in space. Yeah. Floating <laughs> the fuck around. What's going to be your immediate objective? Floating here in space. I mean, what can I do? Uh, you have, like, a, a booster kit. You can also kick off of wreckage and stuff. There's the ruined Dolos that's near you. If you want to get on side that, that'd be fun, right? Uh, a Baoku's really far away. I wouldn't go to that. And obviously you could, I don't know, you could try to hijack a mobile suit. That's very risky, though. As illustrated previously. I mean, wouldn't there be a mobile suit in the abandoned sheet metal carcass? Yes, you could probably find an abandoned mo mobile suit in the Dolos. That does seem like the best. If I go towards Mad Gun, I risk getting his, him distracted and both of us killed, so I'm a... Uh... I'm going to boost my little booty towards that. All right. You start heading to the Dolos carrier, then. It'll take you a bit to arrive there. Uh, Madgun, it's your turn. Uh, as previously stated, I started boosting towards Tiny's last position. All right. You boost toward the ruin. No, Madgun. I've got this covered. You look after you. It's too late. I can take care of myself. <laughs> Madgun, you still going to boost to where Tiny was? Yeah. There's no guarantee there's uh, anything in there, and... Anything happens to me, Tiny's stuck in a wreckage for God knows how long. Hey, I might, I'm gonna find something cool in here. I'm a mechanic, don't you know? <laughs> you gonna put a bunch of scrap metal together into a, a mobile suit? I mean, don't you remember we used to have saber fish? Don't you remember your freaking tin cod? I don't think that's the best idea out here. All right, Megan, you arrive at Tiny to pick her up. You open up your cockpit briefly to let her in, I'm assuming? Yes. All right. It's kind of a tight fit, as it is with all these cockpit rides recently. Uh, <laughs> the cockpit closes. Do I have uh, to sit on his lap? Possibly. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Uh, where are you going? Inside the Dolos? Or, or, or uh, are you going to hang out here? Or going to retreat? Or what? I guess we can go to the Dolos and try to find something. All right. Madgun's going to start retreating toward the Dolos. Finway, your turn. They seem to be in retreat. I'm holstering the beam cannon and charging him with the heat rod. We're done playing this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> or the heat saber. Excuse me. You want Man. PvP? You'll get PvP. You want PvP? <laughs> you get PvP! Much like Parbo, we gave them the chance to fuck off and they decided they wanted to come for it. I executed a man in the street for that shit last time. I'll do it again. All right. Fenway, give me wrath. Give me melee. Give me reactor. I needed a 14 and rolled an 11. All right, Mad Gun, I believe since we passed you, you still have a reaction. So I've got Tiny in. Mm hmm. 
Mm, you get alerts going off saying that you are about to be cut in half from behind. Very specific alerts. God freaking dang. Is there any way to like get Tiny out and then turn around and deal with a threat? I mean, you can open up your cockpit, but it might not be a great idea. But yeah, you can open up your cockpit and kick her out and then turn around. Okay, that's <laughs> sure. what I'm going to do then. I'm going to uh, open it up. Gonna do? Open the cockpit, kick her towards the, the Dulios thing. Dulios. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I'll let, yeah, sure. Um, You open your cockpit. You kick her out. I'm going to give you a minus <laughs> one because your fucking cockpit's open. Just fucking punted out of the goddamn thing. Yep. You get kicked out of a cockpit. And you're flying in space. <coughs> Mad gun, you turn back to Finway. Then are you just going to try to meet sabers to defend yourself? Yep. All right. This this is a uh, this is going to be like a poise move and mobility move. Poise move mobility. What a grit roll, Adam. And Think of it more of like a last stand. It is pretty gritty. Give me a good one liner as you kick Tiny out of your cockpit. I'll make it a grit move. Like one, a one liner to Tiny or a one liner to? I, yeah, you should. To tiny. Yeah, you I might want to say it. something to her since you're kicking her out of the cockpit. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Wrong move. <laughs> All right, kid. You've got a lot to live for. Get out of here. Like what? All right. I'll give you grit for that. Grit, melee, mobility. I need a 12 or rolled an 8. I think that outdoes Fenway's successes, yes. Right? Fenway, what was your target? Indeed it again? does. Okay, cool. But I'm also going to use my reaction. To attack him again? To follow up with it. Make another attack roll. What's the, a lot of successes. What's, what's the stats we're, we're using here? Same? Same ones. Okay, yeah. That's a lot of successes. Like, like, I don't know what I needed last time, but I got a 9 this time by the 11. I don't... I don't. <laughs> Fenway follows up his blocked attack with another attack at Mad Gun's gym's waist, cutting and cleaving through the mobile suit, cutting it in two nearly. Mad Gun, you feel an intense heat, incredibly, incredibly warm, painfully warm, and then suddenly nothing. Your vision is red. All you sense is red. Then there's nothing, absolutely nothing. Finway. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I'm going to head to rest. Be right behind him. Somewhere deep in space, far, far away from the conflict, now isolated in their own private hell, the person who was Lone Star and the person who was Rast Marco find themselves trapped in cages. Cages of deadly intent, instruments of pure destruction clashing at each other over and over again. They move through the battlefield like a pair of grim reapers tearing at each other, struggling lions, tigers, or whatever beast or fancy you wish to imagine. Your worst fucking nightmare. People on either side, occasionally try to intervene, seeing what they expect are blind spots of these two monstrosities struggling with one another. Beam shots firing stray, beam daggers going wild. Zeke's and Fetty's alike perish on either side in great numbers as they foolishly try to make a difference in a struggle that would otherwise be eternal, seemingly, seemingly endlessly motivated by spite and fear. Spite, fear, hatred, churning endlessly in a machine that seems to produce nothing but. A wheel that turns on endlessly, only marching slowly to a conclusion that can never, ever be truly fulfilling, truly representing an end to any of this, any of this suffering, only begetting more. Rast, 
fires over and over and over again. Multiple, multiple volleys of his funnels lash out at you, Lone Star. At least that's what you can barely perceive from your newfound personal hell. I know that in the end when it's over I will survive But now I'm left here with nothing but the memory of you And I can go on but the sorrow still lives in my push the pixie or it pushes you to your limits. It pulls you to and fro back and forth, dodging through volley after volley of fire. Occasionally you take a hit. It doesn't stop you. It doesn't stop the pixie. You lash out at the mobile suit that is your friend Rast Marco. In vain, maybe. Funnel after funnel fires. Funnel after funnel falls to your actions. Until you are both struggling. The pixie in shambles. Limbs destroyed. On its last leg. You throttle and punch and tear at this monstrosity holding your dear friend hostage. Rast Marco fires endlessly at the pixie, trying to tear open the cockpit, it seems. The last of its funnels losing charge, ramming into it, only to be destroyed and batted away by the pixie's strength. You are locked endlessly, tearing at one another. The machines out of hatred, and you both out of love and friendship. Then wait, Holden, as you near the location where you expect the Pixie and Rast to be entangled in a deadly, deadly fight, you begin to see the scene unfold before you. They are lashing at each other with the very last of what the mo each mobile suit has. It's vicious. Uh, they are tearing, clawing, attacking, and you see before you can arrive, before you could make much of a difference here, before you could save your friend. You see both of them ready melee and go for each other's cockpit in a mad frenzy, each completely unaware or uncaring of defending their own cockpits, simply just reaching out for one another. Lone Star and rest. You're floating in a void, and you're reaching toward one another, when suddenly a nude man appears in front of you. It's co-pilot. He's nude because of new type shenanigans. You're also naked. Wait, I'd recognize those buns anywhere. Co-pilot! What's going on? Hey guys, uh, what's up? Co-pilot? Hey rest. you guys are fighting. It, uh, kind of sucks. Um, we're, we're fighting. Shit. I, it was all getting mixed up. Just oh, wanting, man. wanting to protect and... I never wanted it to be like this, Rast. Wanting to... You're my friend. 
I didn't either. Can uh, I? I think I can. I think I can pull back. Okay, I'll try too. I mean, you guys gotta try. It's not supposed to end like this for you two. Uh, all right. I'll, 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 I'll give it a shot. I, I don't. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you either. And I'm sorry if I ever did. I'll. I'll see you on the other side, okay? Thanks, Cole. Goodbye. Goodbye to both of you. Goodbye, guys. Lone Star, in a haze, you shake your head. You see a slider in front of you. Your vision is tunneled, focused solely on the slider. It's all the way up. I'm going to try and slowly pull it down to zero. You put your fingers on the slider and begin slowly dragging it across the touchscreen, each notch seemingly releasing pressure. Pressure that you would have once deemed to be lethal to you. But now, as you slowly inch it down and down, you realize that it is pressure as if someone were holding a wound close. Pressure that was keeping you together. Instead of being pushed into this black abyss, you feel yourself floating, floating away, becoming distance, slowly losing yourself, and you are at zero. You have enough to do one final action before you pass out. What do you wish to do? I tell Rast, take care of yourself, buddy. And then I boost off into the other direction as fast as I can. You boost away into now Fetty controlled space. At some point, you lose consciousness entirely. Not because you're swallowed by some eldritch machine, but simply because your soul has been so stressed and pulled at such great tension from your physical existence. You finally get to rest. Holden, Fenway, you see the pixie blast off suddenly. Wrath's mobile suit hangs there. It's taken a lot of damage. It has been whittled down over this long course of conflict. It doesn't seem to be moving. Guess I'm going to go over comms. Marco? Uh, yes, sir. Orders, sir. Retreat out of here, bud. The do- the job is done. Everyone's trying to get out of here. Come with us. Let's get the hell out of here. Retreat? I, I can't retreat. We're losing. I can't retreat. <sighs> Buddy, we got to retreat back to defend what's ours. This fight out here doesn't matter anymore. We got to go back and make sure Naps is okay. R- r- right. R- right. Cat, you make it to the hangar of the Dolos. It's chaos in here. No one really minds a Federation officer in their normal suit. It seems that it's reached that state. Are there people still alive in there? Oh yeah, they're trying to leave. There are several mobile suits that are just here. There's a Dom, there's a Gelgook, and there's a Zaku too. Hmm, I want that Zaku boy. Gonna go classic? Okay. Oh, like, is a Gelgu better? Oh, yes, by far. Oh. All right, you get into the Gelgu. It's a bit of a different setup, but it's very reminiscent of the Zaku that you piloted long, 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 long ago. So you're not too uncomfortable in it. And, uh, yeah, with the panic and the chaos of the Dolos going down and exploding all around you, it's you meet pretty much no resistance in just hopping in this thing and starting it up and leaving. <laughs> Where to? <laughs> I just, like, I, I destroyed these people. Like, I am the reason that they are, like, shells of who they used to be. I come in, half dead, crippled as fuck, just walk up in there, like, <laughs> don't mind if I do. Pretty much. Get in a, get in a, a, a mobile suit, a nice mobile suit, <laughs> and I just piece the fuck out. They have too many mobile suits and a shortage of pilots. That's Zeon's problem at this point. Um, Kind of always with... 
kind of always was Zeon's problem, but it became very bad at this point. So Do I got any presents to leave behind. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you could just sh- light up the fucking hangar as you leave if you want to just shoot. I'm just going to shoot the other mobile suits. You could also just disengage your external propellant and shoot it, and I'm pretty sure that would blow a massive hole in the ship. No, I just wanted to destroy the mobile suits. Okay, so okay. So <laughs> I just get nobody it. Just, follows. Just, just laying out the options here, all right? Just... <laughs> Adam's over here like, you could do this, or you could commit the War Crime <laughs> yes. 3000. Come on, War Crime 3000. I'm just, um, I'm just trying not to run into any more trouble. It, it, remember, this is Gundam. The more War Crimes you do, the more people like your character. Um, <laughs> just don't ask Scoop. All right. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, they're, I mean, they're not moving. Uh, you don't think anyone's going to go for these. You think everyone who was trying to get out and use a mobile suit to get out already got a mobile suit and already got out. The problem seems to be, like I said, that there's too many mobile suits, not enough pilots. And so you're not even as you shoot these, you're not even sure that someone would ever come and get them. Not my problem, but definitely not my problem. You depart the hangar in the gel goob that you stole. There's no sign of Mad Gun. Nothing from his gym is really visible after the explosion that threw you in the direction of the Dolos after he uh, kicked you out of his cockpit. Mad Gun. Mad Gun. Do you hear me? This is Commander Dancer. There's no response over comms. I'm just gonna boost off into space, see if I can see anything. Despite searching the nearby area, you can't really see any sign of him. Even using your sensors, you can't detect a distinct enough heat signature. It seems he may have been obliterated in the explosion. Come on, Jack. Gather? You can't be just gone. You've already almost been gone too many times to really be gone. Fuck. Only thing to answer you is nothing over the radio. Uh, uh, well, I, I, where's Lone Star? You can try radio into him. Uh, it, he couldn't contact you because he doesn't know, like, a random Belgoob's, you know, communication stuff, but you have his info, effectively, and can try to reach out to the pixie. Lone Star. Lone Star, this is, um, Lieutenant Commander Tiny Dancer. There's no answer? Though you are being picked up, and you do get a ping on his location, he doesn't seem to be moving. Christ. Uh, I'm gonna go towards his direction. He seems to be drifting in the pixie, just just barely inside Fetty's space. Uh, the pixie is uh, much worse for wear than you last left it. Um, heavily damaged, and as you near... Once again, no answer from Lone Star in the cockpit. Lone Star? Can I, like, shake his mobile suit? <laughs> yeah, you can shake his mobile suit. <laughs> okay. Kid. Hey, kid. Again, there isn't much of a response. The suit seems to have vitals intact and fine. In other words, he's not, like, running out of air in there or anything. Uh, and it does seem to be the whole there's no no there's no visible signs of damage on the cockpit itself he's just not responding to you come on kid you you can't give up on me now you're all i got you're getting a ping on your radio this is the kurosawa we saw this pixie adrift for a nearby medical ship uh do you need assistance are you are you allied in that gelgoog i i am i they saw you on the on the comm channel. I am, I am. Uh, I can you come to us, or do I need to bring this pixie to you? We're already heading to you. We've been trying to reach out to that mobile suit for uh, for a time now. As we approach, we haven't been able to. Uh, just bring him over here to the hangar. We'll get this sorted out. He's one of mine, but he's unresponsive. We we'll have medical staff ready. I'm just gonna grab the hand of like Lone Star's mobile suit, <laughs> like. Hold his little hand, and I'm just gonna boost towards the ship. Your Gelgoog grabs the hand of the pixie gingerly. The pixie 
while not damaged beyond repair or anything, seems kind of lifeless. Not full of the speed, energy, and danger that you saw it filled with earlier. Um, it seems almost harmless. Limp. You escort the Pixie and Lone Star to the Kurosawa. Lone Star, you gotta pull through for me. It's not right. You've grown up a lot recently, but you're still just a kid. Hell, you're like my kid. I feel like I raised you. I mean, I remember when you and Copilot did all your stupid shit. I mean, not saying you don't still do stupid shit, but, like, things have changed. I, uh, was almost proud of you in a way. Like, you gotta pull through for me. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to go on? You really grew on me. So just, just pull through. Um, as the Zeke team heads back to Abawaku, it's not looking good. There are explosions all over the surface. There are multiple people on different channels now stating that Zeon is in full retreat, that we are falling back from Abawaku, that we are leaving for good this time. Going the fuck back to where? Where's the left to fall back to? You're not getting answers. Immediately, side three comes to mind, but you know that that doesn't have the fortifications that a Balaku does, and you don't think it would be that good at defending anything. The command structure seems confused, to say the least. There are people screaming about Cassilia Zabi being dead. There are people screaming about falling back to the shoal zone. There are people on comms screaming about falling back to an asteroid called Axis. And there are people talking about falling back to side three. There are more people talking about making a last stand here and dying while trying. Seems to be the loudest of them. Gonna radio into... Orville again. One last time, probably. It's a lot clearer this time. Orville, this is what's left of Squid Squad. Uh, status report. We got the kid back. We had Naps dropped off at Abawaku. Do you know what's going on with him? Uh, I have no idea. Do you know what's going on with the wounded from there at all? Like, if they're taking them somewhere? I I have received no word on that. I think I think the idea with the wounded is that they are going to remain at Abawaku and the prisoners of war to be traded at a later date. I was just guessing off of how these things usually go. Fuck. This retreat is very unorganized. I... Where, where are you and Oscar going? We're going to Site 3. Do we have a ship that we're meeting with, or are we just booking it and hoping for the best at this point? I'm going to... I'm going to be very straightforward with you. We had orders to go to Axis with the remaining forces. We are ignoring those orders, and we are going to side three. Whether or not you follow us is going to be on you. I'm not going to make the decision for you. You're welcome to. But that's where the Zeon civilians are. That's where any... If the Federation is going to get there and do anything extreme, it's, that's where it's going to happen, and that's where it'll need to be stopped. Got one last question. And I, I don't know if you've got the answer. What's going to be the best place to take the kid right now? Because I can't keep him in this mobile suit. It's going to fucking kill him. Or get him killed. I don't know at this point. This thing's been fucking with him since we left. Look, the, the Flanagan Institute would probably just experiment on him further. And from what I heard from his debriefing, I think the, the Federation was doing something similar. Maybe you should go with one of the fleets escaping to the Shoal Zone or Axis. They seem to be soldiers, for the most part. Maybe they will be as disgusted about this experimentation as uh, you and I are. Yeah. Well, good luck. It was, uh, wasn't always a pleasure, but it was an honor. Good luck out there. With squad signing off. The line goes dead.
Holden. Yeah. You can either go with them or you can go with us. I'll stick with you, man. Thanks, bud. Marco. Uh, yeah. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna need you to get out of that mobile suit. Out of the, out of the, out, out of here. Yeah. Uh, out of here. Yes. Why? Because this is the best thing for you, bud. This is how you walk away from this and live. It's hurting me. Yes. It might. I don't know anymore. I know it's. It, you're not you right now. Just. Come on, come on, Brass Monkey. Just come with us. Let's get the fuck out of here, man. Very slowly, Rast Marco's last funnel detaches and begins to slowly create distance between it and the mobile suit. I am dashing straight at him right now. Aiming at his own cockpit. Marco, don't you fucking fire that weapon! Rass cockpit opens. A uh, very dazed and stumbly Ras Marco exits the cockpit. Just enough. As the last funnel open fires on his own mobile suit, tearing into it, cutting it through right in half, it explodes, and Ras goes tumbling forward into space. And I fucking pop the cockpit and dive after him. You jump from your mobile suit's cockpit and catch Rast Marco. He seems fine. He's unconscious. He's breathing pretty heavy. But he's alive. The two of you float in space a bit. Holden, you see the nightmare that was this mobile suit that Rast Marco was uh, piloting slowly begin to drift in pieces away from each other seems to be destroyed beyond repair. You see Finway holding Rast Marco and getting him slowly back to his mobile suit. Thank fucking God. So the day by and large is run won by the Federation. A bow coup falls. Later it is confirmed that the entire Zabi family as far as the Federation is concerned, has died in this battle. Xeon forces fleet to Site 3, the Shoal Zone, deeper space, and Axis. Shortly thereafter, a treaty would be signed that would officially bring an end to the One Year War. While the war would end on paper, while technically the conflict had been resolved. Zeon had lost. And the Federation had won. In the hearts and minds of those who fought in it, the conflict would never end. It would fester. It would grow. It would burn. It would continue to spin and cause suffering within and around the people who lived through the war. Twisting not only them, but their loved ones, even their descendants, into a more warlike, savage visage that can only propagate the suffering that this war caused, even if it was only just a year. Humanity had been irrevocably changed for the foreseeable future.
Dead Sand Medium. Okay.